guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so happy to have you along for the journey if you're enjoying it please subscribe to my channel and also like and comment on my videos i love hearing from you guys and it really helps my channel out when you do so today i am going to show you how i make my very first solar tea now if you have been following along with my Instagram or if you watched my video on tea that I posted several weeks back, then you'll know that I often grow a lot of herbs that can be used for tea mixes as well as um, purchase, some purchase some dried tea from places like Sprouts. Um, and I should say I purchase dried herbs from places like Sprouts and I will mix those into my tea blends, things like cinnamon, star anise, different things like that that I can't grow or things like lavender that maybe I don't have plenty growing yet. Same thing with chamomile. And so, um, yeah, so I've been doing that for quite a while and I figured I would bring you along while I try a solar tea. Now I recently purchased Rosemary Gladstar's a few of her books actually and one of them was talking about just the healing properties of both solar and lunar teas and I growing up had done like sweet tea out in the sun for a few hours um, but I've never actually done it with an herbal tea so I'm really excited to see how this turns out so I figured I would bring you guys along and um, let's see how it goes if you've made a solar or a lunar tea, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below and tell me how you've made it, how you thought it turned out, any of that, or if you are inspired by me doing it and do it yourself, I would love to hear that as well. So let's do it. So I started with some of my dry herbs that I've purchased with sprouts, like I said, things that I either can't grow here in Florida or that I don't have enough growing yet. So I have some raspberry leaf, some chamomile, I put some rose hips in, as well as some nettle. Then I went ahead and poured water in since everything else I wanted to put in was outside and it was gonna be staying outside anyways. I went out and picked a few different varieties of mint, self-heal, holy basil, lemongrass, and just a few different things. Put them right into the jar, and I added a flower for beauty. Then I closed up the lid and gave it a good shake. Mixing everything together. And then I found a nice sunny location. And I set it there to steep for a few hours. Several times throughout the day, I went out, shook it up, and made sure it was staying in the sun. So our tea has now been sitting out for probably about six hours, I would think, in the sun. And so I'm just going to shake it up real good, make sure everything's combined, and let's try it out. So these are the Herba Mate straws, and so they have the little filter or strainer type of thing so that you can put it into your tea and 
not drink up any of the herbs. So, let's see. So good. Taste the chamomile. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't need honey or sugar or anything. It's yeah, really good. good. Oh, and I also put raspberry leaves in there. I've not done that before, so that's a first. So that's probably sweetening it. Nice. I like the. I feel like the fruit always sweetens it. And then I have some holy basil in here. I think you can taste the mint. And the lemongrass. And the lavender. Lavender, yep, yeah, good job. So I definitely don't think that it's as strong as if we had boiled the water, but it has a really, really, I feel like it has like a warm flavor. Am I crazy? <laughs> it does have a warm flavor, but remember, the sun wasn't out all day. That's true. And it was only about 70, mid 70s with the highs, so maybe, you know, maybe next week or later in the week you could try it. A little hotter and the sun's out a little more. That's true. In the summer, it'll probably really, the sun will probably really help the herbs absorb. This is really good. Very impressed. Thanks for making this with you. You're welcome. No, you can have it all. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you for watching. If you have done it before, I would love to hear your experience or if you're inspired by us doing it, let me know how it turns out. I would love to hear about it. And as always, if you could subscribe, like, comment, all those good things. I love connecting with you and it really helps my channel out. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And a big shout out to my husband who helps me with all my videos. Thanks for watching.